And your expectations for them looking identical, just throw that out of the window. As long as they look like sisters and not twins, you're in good shape. Here's exactly how to shape your eyebrows at home so you save tons of money at the salon. First, get yourself a spoolie and we are going to brush the brows upwards. This way we can really see what we're working with. So both sides, brush them up, up, up. Now I'm just gonna go in with my tweezer men tweezers and pluck the little tiny hairs. You want to try to pull your eyes taut just a little bit so that you can get all the tiny hairs. If you are brand new to shaping your eyebrows at home, you might want to start with a map first to kind of see what direction you're going. So now that we have cleaned up underneath, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side. We're just gonna clean up the shape underneath. Yeah. I'm just gonna take my spoolie again and I'm gonna brush them up. We're just gonna see where we're at, make sure I didn't miss any hairs underneath. And then we'll go to cleaning up the top and the sides. This is my Jill facial razor. So we're just gonna take this gonna pull up slightly and I'm doing it at a 45 degree angle so I can get all of those little hairs at the top so it gets a really nice clean look just take your time with this so that you don't accidentally go down and cut your eyebrow <laughs> and your expectations for them looking identical just throw that out of the window as long as they look like sisters and not twins you're in good shape the middle hair, I'm going to go in and do this at a 45 degree angle in either direction to get a nice clean look there. So now you're going to take your shears and we are just going to go across little tiny hairs that are poking up out of the top. And then I just take my shears and I'm going to run it right across the top. For any out of place hairs. I'm now gonna take the spoolie, comb up, and just get the very, very top of those little tiny hairs. So you'll just comb up and then you'll just trim the tiny hairs. You don't need to go overboard with this, less is more. Brush them downwards, just a little bit right there. Now that they're all shaped, let's go ahead and get them filled in. 